Hey everyone, this is Swati. Welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to see how to send Slack channel message for new opportunity in Salesforce. Now, suppose you are the salesperson and you are using Salesforce CRM application to manage and nurture your leads. Now, every time there is a new opportunity in the form of new leads, new contacts, you have cracked a deal and you have got client information. So, what do you want? You want to share this entire information with your team on Slack. Now, what is Slack? Slack is an instant social messaging app. So, you want to share the information, but every time you want to share the information, you have to repeat the process. And this is definitely going to be time consuming and hectic. Now, what if I tell you that this process can get automated? I'm, I'm here trying to tell you that these two applications can get integrated in a way that every time there's a new opportunity, automatically a message with all the details will be shared on Slack to your team. Now, isn't that interesting? Yes, it is. How do we do that? With the help of Pabli Connect software. Now, this software is an integration and automation software where all you have to do is you have to take a two-step process and these two applications will be integrated. Now, do you need coding skills for this? Of course not. Let me show you how do you do this and for this, let me take you to my screen. So to begin the process, the first thing that we have to do is we have to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. And as we do that, it will take us to the landing page of Pabli Connect software. Now here, if you already are the user, you can simply sign in. And if you are a new user, you can sign up for free. So I'm already a user here. So I'm going to click on sign in and it has taken me to the all apps page. Now, since I'm doing this integration using Pabli Connect, I'll click on access now and it will direct me to the dashboard. On the right hand corner, you can see create workflow. So let's click on create workflow. And since we are creating a workflow with the applications Salesforce and Slack, so I am going to write Salesforce to Slack. So this is how I'm going to name my workflow. Click on create and as we do this, so now finally this particular page appears here. You can see two very important events, trigger and action. Triggers and actions are basically two principles on which the entire automation works. Trigger means when this happens. So it is the if case and action means do this. So now here I need that every time there's a new lead on Salesforce. So a message has to be sent to my team on Slack. So let's select the application as Salesforce. And as we click here it is asking us for the trigger event. So, so basically here, what do we want? We want that every time there's a new opportunity, like in form of a new lead or new business. So a message has to be sent to the team on Slack. So here I'm going to opt my trigger event as new opportunity. Now, as we click on this, then we have to click on connect. Here again, Babli Connect is asking us to connect our Salesforce account. So click on connect here add new connection and then connect with Salesforce. Now, as we have already logged in to our Salesforce account, so Public Connect detected the same and now is asking for the authorization permission. So let's click on allow here. And you can see that the authorization has been successful. So now before we click on save and send test request, we are going to go to our Salesforce home account. Okay, now here on the right hand side, you can see this plus icon as you click on this. Here you have an option of new opportunity. So we are going to click on this new opportunity. And now it is asking us for the name. So let's name it as new leads. So, and then account name. So let's say the account name is again new opportunities, then we have a close date, then we have a stage. So as of now, my stage is needs analysis, which means that as soon as I get the leads, first I want to analyze them. And then the amount. Amount means that what do you think? How much is it worth for? So here, let's say it is worth for the leads that I have received. It's worth for $200. And then I'm going to click on save here. Now, as I go back to my Pabli Connect account here, you have to click on save and send test request. And as we do that, we have to see if the response has been received. And yes, we have received the response. The name is new leads. And what is the stage name needs analysis amount is $200. 
and then as we come down so we have gathered all the information now this means that the integration has begun now the second process of integration starts where what do we have to do we have to connect this with slack so i'm going to choose my action app as slack and i'm going to click on this now the action event so what do we need here we need to send a channel message so i'm going to click on send channel message and now the thing is that if we go back to slack here you can see channels on the left hand corner we need to create a channel on which the messages can be sent so here i'm going to click on this plus sign and i'm going to click on create a channel now let's say the name of my channel is new leads salesforce so all the new leads that i'm receiving from salesforce and the description is new business opportunities so now i'm going to click on create this channel can be created as public or private now you have to add people so let's say that i am going to add here as delu then devin parko now i'm going to add charles okay michael Callis, or uh, then i'm going to add gary and then click on add so you can add as many people as you want to be in that particular team where you want to send the message now this particular channel has been created we are going to go back to pabli connect and then click on connect here here pabli connect is asking us to connect our slack account so here we are going to click on add new connection connect with slack and then we have to enter the token type we are going to enter user because we want to send channel messages it can have images or not etc for more details you can click here now let's click on save now here this particular page that has opened it is asking basically pabli connect is asking permission to access the pabli connect slack workspace so here if we scroll down we have to click on allow and finally the authorization process is successful now here you have to select the channel so we have recently created new lead salesforce so this is our channel and now what is the message that you wish to send so it is hello team a new lead or the opportunity has been generated through salesforce details are now here you can provide them the details let me correct the spelling of details yeah details are so here i'm going to map my data and name is new leads the first thing is the name of this thing is new leads the second information that i wish to share with my team is the stage name which means this information that i'm sending them is at what stage so this is the stage name the third thing that I wish to map is as I go down the amount, which means what's the like um, lead worth for. So the lead that has been generated through Salesforce is almost worth $200. Then I would want to wish them all the best. Happy hunting. Now, this is a typical sales language so that is my message which i wish to share with my team and next they would they would analyze that now you can add more information like image url image alt text bot name bot icon and etc i am going to click on save and send test request and the moment i do that here i have received the api response now i'm going to quickly go back to slack to see if i have received and yes here you can see Hello team, a new lead has been generated through Salesforce. Details are these and all the best. Happy hunting, which means that your message has been sent. Now, this means that Slack and Salesforce, they are perfectly integrated. It has been successful. So every time there is a new opportunity on Salesforce, so we will get a message on Slack. Now, I'm going to go back to my Public Connect page. And here we are going to discuss what was the process altogether. Here you can see that the data has been captured immediately, but sometimes this might take a longer time. Why? Because you can see that the trigger here is polling based. So after every three hours, you would receive the updated information. So if your 
information if your message doesn't come instantly so do not worry you just need to have a little patience and then in some time you will receive your message so this entire process was absolutely easy the first integration was done between salesforce and pabli connect where we had selected the trigger event as new opportunity and then the second integration process was done with Slack, where we had selected the action event as send channel message. This was a very easy process and I hope that you do not have any doubts. But if in case you have any doubt, then do not worry. You can simply visit the workflow, which is there in the description box.